this out right here. I'm catching the ball. Watch this. Anonymous throws the ball. I catch the ball at chest height, right? Then he goes down and comes up. I'm pressing the button when it when it's coming to me already, right? I'm pressing the button. He passes it. I catch it. No, normally, he would just go straight up with that, but he goes down and then comes up. Come on. Good morning out there, 2K Land, man. Check this out, man. We're going to start the video off the same way we always do, full transparency. We dropped a jump shot video last night. It's going to work its way up. But the real piece to resistance is this. Hey, yesterday, 8,000 views, almost 200 comments. Love when y'all get active in the comment section. 880 uh likes listen i'm telling y'all man we can breathe i think we're gonna break 10k today uh and, and we can only do that with y'all man so make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below we got to get to that that 200 likes within the first uh 1500 views for that to happen and y'all and as always y'all know we're gonna start the video off the same way we always started off with the noti gang wall of fame man anybody that comes through you know what i'm saying hey man hey I, I know right they was tripping hey listen man hey what's up jay hey look i'm always talking back we always getting very active in the comment section and we're gonna look at some of the top comments of the day hey one person says do you think that the 85 three ball was worth it or do you wish that you would have taken it out um to get more defense it's no more defense i could have got in the build anything we would have been a waste i got 70 block i got 80 block uh 70 interior 90 strength and then I got 95 on both of the uh, perimeter and what's called. So there's nothing else that I really wanted. Um, anything else would have been overkill, in my opinion. Hey, one person says, I like the more, uh, this was, this is a uh, Swedish chef. I like the more realistic gameplay. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's more of a skill-based game. Getting, glitching left and right and speed boosting it is exploiting the game. Uh, and that isn't skill. IQ is what will make people... Uh, good at the game, more or less what he's saying now. That's what we were talking about yesterday with Young Steve's, uh flying around the court. I told y'all I'm not guarding that. I'm going to turn the game off. And then last but not least, one um, this is Pretty Boy Darius says, the shooting slump, the shooting slump has always been in the game. It's more momentum. It's the takeover meter. Like if you got zero takeover versus uh, if you do a few things and then you got more takeover. Uh, but you got zero takeover, you're close to the cold. And then, you know, when you get some takeover, it goes up. And, and you know, your stats go up more or less. One person says hitting that like button is free. Your dog on, right? And then last but not least, uh, they say they need to leave the game alone. Just adapt and i feel that on on, you know, on a lot of fronts man and we're gonna talk about all that and everything else man it's your thing on rest Friado, uh today man so it's it's it's, it's kind of weird man and my voice is gone but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all know what we're trying to go to the moon Alice. and if nobody told you this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family i love each and every last one of y'all like the video get active and get yourself on that notre game wall of fame and with all that out of the way yes going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town coming to you live with another video so this is what we were talking about on yesterday so mike Wong, we're gonna talk about a lot of the stuff that they were talking about yesterday um how how, how the shooting and, and things like that have changed uh some think that it hadn't changed i say it has and i'm gonna show y'all this right here i'm gonna show y'all two videos and then we're just gonna keep on going check this out right here i'm catching the ball watch this anonymous throws the ball i catch the ball at chest height right then he goes down and comes up. I'm pressing the button when it when it's coming to me already, right? I'm pressing the button. He passes it. I catch it. No, normally, he would just go straight up with that, but he goes down and then comes up. Now, I still hit the shot, but it, it's just, it's that's just how it has been. We're going to show you all again. Look, uh, same thing right here. Down here in the corner. I catch the ball chest height. Normally, he was going straight up. Look, he goes down. And then it comes up. Now I'm gonna show you guys some clips from when we played when we played the other day, right? So I just hit a three. I must have just hit a three here. And and then we're just gonna let this video play out. And you can look at me shoot threes all in this video, and you're gonna see the same exact thing every single time. Look. All right, we're gonna go back. You're gonna see the same exact thing every single time. He throws it, I catch it at chest height, he goes straight up. Y'all see that? I even paused on that one, and he never dropped it below his waist, but the other one, he was dropping it below his waist. Right here, boom. Straight up. 
And so that's what I'm saying when I'm saying, and just keep looking at that throughout this video because that's what I'm saying when I'm saying, I know that they changed something. I, I'm not one of those people that just says, yo, this, this, and that. I have the film, I got the day one footage with this i feel like what they did like 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 me and brute were talking about i feel like they changed the difficulty of the game because on defense you were sticking a lot more um you were moving a lot better on defense you didn't feel like you were sliding as much or any of that stuff like everything felt really smooth day one and um and like 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 it like brute said in his video it was chaos but it was fun chaos everything was good and it seemed like it was cool then all of a sudden, I, I promise you, they changed the difficulty, and um, and that must be what it is. So now that the way that the difficulty will probably make that manifest is there's two shots, there's two timers on every shot, and um, or a couple of timers on every shot. That shot had a B minus on uh, timing stability, and the shot that I'm using now it has a B, a B plus or a B something like that. And I think that's what timing stability does. It just makes it so it you know how constant your timing is going to be but the jump shot i put out last night is one he, he always takes it from his chest he doesn't drop it below his belt and like i said while watching this video you're going to see that but what what i'm saying here is the same thing pretty much the 2k labs is saying uh in their video and uh we're gonna let y'all listen to what they're saying right here jump shot green window and that same jump shot in let me turn it up song let's say i'm whispering window and that same jump shot in 2k23 actually has a much larger green window and it also starts earlier for full details click the video link in the reply below and so more or less what they're saying is you got the exact you got two jump shots and this is the green window right here this is the green window for for now it is much shorter it's almost half this is probably as early as you can start it right here where it flattens out and then that's the end of it and then it falls off uh this bell curve so now you see this bell curve it goes that's much larger and so they're saying that uh you got the same exact jump shots but the green window is is so much smaller now it's, it's almost half and so like i said that's irrefutable evidence is where the dude said i thought that there, i thought that there was a pure green window so uh so shouldn't that make it be a hundred percent in the center of the green window nah it's, it's not a hundred percent man it, it is what it is very close it looks like it's close to a hundred percent but hey it is what it is but so and that could have been uh depending upon the jump shot that they were using they didn't tell you which jump shot they were using so um and and of course you got to go to the site to see what it is um it, it is what it is y'all holler at me and give me a deal and I, i'll push people over there for y'all man you, you know somebody do it to do your thing anyway up next uh one dude said yes yeah i greened the layup and it got swatted mike shot says block shot you know they're talking about there's a pure green window and he said block shots are an exception i think i thought everybody would already know that but block shots are an exception uh if that shot was blocked it, if the shot wasn't blocked it would have gone in we were thinking about not displaying the green effect in these cases but I wanted users to know that they had time to shot correctly. And so I, I, I rock with that, man. Like I said, we already, I, I don't think like, some of this stuff is common sense. I feel like, um, I feel like we should know what's going on in, in cases like that. Like, you know, that's common sense that if the shot gets blocked, you did time it correctly, but if it gets blocked, it's not gonna go in. So it was green for no reason or what have you. But the things that we are talking about in this game, man, like we said, it was funny because they said that if you have a certain uh rating and you do something then uh and, and you get you pop the takeover that corresponds with that low rating it's probably not really gonna help you bro look at this stuff man we got people shooting from over half court with 25 three ball after they get a uh after they get the i got no playmaking i passed it to gambit and he and he's got a regular shot but i passed it to him with the play make take and I mean, it makes people like even uh, even me and Nino was able to do it. We passing the tee, shooting over half court. But just take a look at this right here. Dude says, uh, "Let me." We just gonna listen in. Hey, I love y'all boys. Get off the court. Like I said, man. <laughs> I don't even know if he was in tape. This is not even in tape. And it's 15 to 12. He does yeah, that with boys. confidence. All right. Yes, and it counts. These are the things that need to be addressed in the game, man. Not not necessarily the very small shooting things and stuff like that. We need to address the things that are clearly broken in the game. Shooting from there, and he just launched it, and with no problem, and it was 20 to 15. That's a, that's a trap score in 2K, if y'all know what it is, which means that if they don't score the ball right there, then 
the next the next bucket the other team gets they're gonna get that bucket automatically and you're gonna have to fight very hard to get your next uh shot man so it is what it is it's just weird but this is the, this is how some people are talking about like this is what tay 26 says this is 2k in a nutshell right here this is what a lot of people have been feeling the last couple of days hey it's time and very early like what okay i'm just gonna hold this joint until the end okay uh wait how is that very early and then he says, look, bro, I ain't even got the ball yet, bro. What's, what's going on? Bro, I never let it go. It's still very early. Like, what are you talking about? And then, look, hey, right at the end. Okay, I'm just going to stay here. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's what a lot of people feeling like. And then, then when you get kicked out of the game like that, guess what's going to happen? When you get kicked from the game like that, this is going to happen. For 30 minutes, and I literally was getting lagged out. How am I banned for 30 minutes because I lagged off of the court? Y'all got to fix that, 2K. For real. That's trash. That's not cool, 2K. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I made this video. I'm going to put it on Twitter and I'm going to at y'all and say, I don't got to quit out games, bro. I'm literally lagging out. Y'all are somebody either hitting the part or I'm just lagging out of games and they tell me I'm doing bad sportsmanship. Look, what do you mean bad sportsmanship, 2K? Look at this, 2K. I literally, I don't really even lose like that. Why do I got to quit out of game? I got an 88 win percentage. I've only lost 12 times since I've been playing this game. Why would I have a reason to quit? Y'all got to fix that, bro. And that's all I'm going to say. And he's absolutely right about that, man, because we've seen people lagging out of the game, getting kicked out, and with the instability of the servers right now, it's just crazy, man. Now, one person says, hey, turning off crossplay, I mean, this is what the NBA 2K leaks and Intel says, turning off crossplay might might help with the latency problems right now. And uh, Nate says, not going to fix it. The issue is with the latency and all of that is in these parks, you can see too much stuff in the background. You can see all these other courts. You can see all the other shadows. You can see too much going on. In previous 2Ks, the background, and that's why like in Rise, uh, it's, it's really bad. But if you go to the underwater court in Rise, you, you really don't feel any lag or anything like that. If you play on certain courts, there's a court that's got, that's got like a, it's like inside of a bowl uh, that's up top. And then there's one that's down low that's inside of a bowl. You don't get the lag on those two courts. It's only the courts where you see stuff in the background that's going on. So that's, and, but then it's crazy because they'll delete all of the players that's walking around in the park when the game starts and the people on the sideline, you can't see this, but I can see a whole nother game going on and I'm even less interested in that, which is really weird, but they're gonna, I'm sure they're gonna fix that in the patch because I just told them how to fix it or just let them know uh, how to fix it. Hey, J.A. Bridgeforth said, man, he just says, hey, Mike, is there is there a reason that I'm, I'm getting the bad catch animations uh, because of the pass accuracy or the player passing me the ball or is it because of uh, the badges I may have or what have you. And then Mike just said, this is a combination of the pass of the passes, pass accuracy, the uh, passing badges, and the difficulty level of the pass, the distance, and all of that. And he just says, I appreciate that. But the real thing is, man, it's just really weird that we're getting any of this. Uh, you know, we're getting to any of this at all because, hey, look, man, hey, hey, 205 game said, man, this game is turning. This game, 2K24, is going to turn into 2K23 real quick. There's going to be, be complaints. Uh, after every patch, I struggle with the shooting slump myself, but that doesn't, that does not pull up, but that does nothing but make me shoot another one because I know my team needs me to hit the shot. Hey, I'm, I'm with you on that, man. Like I said, I, they, they tried to get me. I just, I just fought hard and fought through it and, uh, you know, tried to figure it out. And like I said, I figured it out. It just took me a couple of minutes to figure it out, but Hey, I figured it out. So, um, you know, I figured out what it was and then to me, it's like this. You have to figure out what the issue is, which I figured out what it was, and then we figured out how to fix it. So that's what it was. Up next, man, we got Mike, you know, talking on uh, talking on uh, Reddit or what have you. And he's speaking out about a lot of this stuff. And he says, is shooting, is shooting really a big deal or is a loud minority? Now, I would like to see what player he's got. 6'8", uh, I think that says. Yeah, that's 6'8". So, I mean, you got a 6'8 player. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that shooting is hard because I'm, I'm shooting about the same thing, especially in the record, what have you. And then Mike just says, one of the goals this year, more or less in a nutshell, he said one of the goals this year was to bring the shooting numbers in a line with something in real life. So if you're used to shooting 60 to 70%, that's just not going to happen this year. You're going to be shooting, we want you to be shooting around 40 to 50%. So if you're shooting around 40 to 50%, you're shooting lights out right now. That's normally not lights out. Lights out is normally 60%, which is where I was until they 
broke my jump shot. And then, you know, I get back up there because it is what it is. He says, they just want everybody to know that if you're 60%, you're shooting below 60% uh, by design. But if you got an 85 plus three ball and you don't, and you're shooting 20%, it might be some work to be done, man. And then uh, up next, you know, they say rebounds are kind of weird. And Mike said he spent the afternoon tweaking the ball physics today. And, um, and you know, it'll be closer in the next patch. So we're going to get that right. And then Mike says, uh, you know, they says, hey, they're, they're arrogant AF like, like they run stuff, the toxic, you know, they, they're talking about the people crying about, you, you know, the shooting or whatever. And he said, they've already tweaked shooting to, to make it easier. They didn't tweak it to make it easier, I don't think. I just think it might be easier because um, the, the difficulty change may have changed some things with some of the jump shots and it seems like it's easier. But Mike just says, I haven't touched shooting since the launch except for the small post hook nerf. Uh, you're probably just getting better. And that could be the case. I don't know why we can't just get better at the game, man. That's what we're supposed to do. And then they said they don't be out, out, they don't be out here like that man mike says i'm out here every day p what do you mean we just don't always respond and i and i get it man um i, I understand because you can't respond to everything and then last but not least we got the first goat of nba 2k he said the first goat i ain't had no friends no money i had no vc all i had was my career and uh that young man got the goat mask on out there that's his that's hydrix uh the first goat he did all of the challenges everything xed off the list he you know what i'm saying he got all that done hey he is the greatest of all time and i'm telling you the amount of dedication that that young man must have put in in order to pull that off in such a short period of time he must have not slept a wink i'm not gonna lie to you man goat in what four days five days three days something like that man that is absolutely insane but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section man hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure we get this video to 1500 uh mean to two Let's try to get to, to a thousand likes because I think that'll get us to to uh to 1k or uh, 10k views, man. I, I really think there is. Y'all the only ones that can make it happen. But at least 200 likes in the first 1500 views so the video can go out to the people. And um just make sure y'all comment down below, man. Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Also get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees. Check it out. Eat sleep anime repeat. If you want to make some custom shirts, we got some stuff. You can do your custom text, all that stuff, man. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,